Jamal Williams is having a great season. And today he was asked if he wants to return to the Lions. And, you know, he could easily been like, yeah, you know, just standard speak just to, you know, what's he going to say? No, I don't want to. Obviously, he probably does. But I'll get to what he said. It's it's <laughs> classic Jamal Williams. But here's the thing about him. He, he needs just six yards to be the first thousand yard back since Reggie Bush in 2013, 10 years ago. He also needs just one rushing touchdown to match Barry Sanders' record for a season. Of course, Barry did it in one last game, and Barry did it all the time. But, I mean, Barry Sanders, come on. Just It makes you realize how good Barry Sanders was. When you have a running back like Jamal doing great, 1,000 yards, 16 touchdowns, whatever, and it's a great season. Barry did that every year. It's crazy, right? So, Anyway, I'll get back to Jamal and what he said about returning to the Lions. But remember, we got him on a two-year, $6 million contract. $3 million a year for him to come in, be steady, be fun. I mean, really, he just fits. He, he's so fun. He's he's in the, uh, you know, every time he's mic'd up, the guy is just like a character. So love it. So he has asked, hey, do, you know, do you want to come back? He says, hmm. Let me think about it. Spent two years here. I'm doing great. Do I want to come back? Do I want to come back to more blessings? Hmm. Let me think about that. <laughs> That's your answer. So then they asked him, hey, have you, you know, spoken with Brad Holmes? With who? With Brad. Brad who? Love it. Right. Let's stop talking about next year. I'm I'm going into a huge game against the Packers where I can get a thousand yards and match or break a single season record set by Barry Sanders. So I love how he handled that. And I love Jamal Williams and I hope that he returns. I hope that it, it gets worked out I mean, because he's worth more money now. I mean, he's just proven he's a, he's a really good back, but I also think he understands. I want to be here. I want to be part of the Detroit lions and what they're doing. And he fits a great role, short yardage, between the tackles, he's a great blocker. He um, is a great pass catcher. He fits the team, the culture, hard worker. The guy is just like so solid too. Just doesn't miss time. He's not injury prone. I mean, it just checks a lot of boxes for the team, and he and the and I think the team checks a lot of boxes for him. Where man. You, you're not going to be overused. You're going to be treated right. You're going to have another running back beside you this offseason. I think that's a priority. I think we've, we've covered that enough now where it's a priority to get a running back room really solidified because I think the jury, in my opinion, the jury's still out on Swift. He had a great game last week against the Bears, but all year inconsistent, injured, slow, kind of tiptoeing through the hole, hole at times. Um, but then he, then he, you know, he gets the ball. He's great. Remember against the commanders when he fell down, gets up, scores, huge play. I mean, there's all kinds of highlight real plays that, that Swift can do just the consistency of being on the field and having the confidence to do the things that he wants to do is not always there. And then when you look at our third string, is it, you know, Craig Reynolds, Jackson, who's there too. So I, I have a feeling we're going to address that in the off season. We need somebody else other than Jamal Williams I assume we'll bring Jamal Williams back that can provide the juice that we need um in the backfield because you, you don't have just one running back nobody does uh anymore where you just run one running back you, spy committee you need three strong running backs you're always going to be down a Kai um at times with with an injury so Jamal Williams clearly likes it here in Detroit wants to come back I love what he had to say I think it was super appropriate I love it here. Of course, I want to come back. Oh, what are you? What are you kidding me? This is great. So he was with the Packers. So thankful that we got him. So look for him to really do something this this week, um, the Sunday Sunday night against the Packers with everything on the line. And the more I think about it, the more excited I am because I was like, well, if it's not for a playoff spot, it's just kind of a letdown. But no, that's pressures off us if. It's, you know, if the uh, Seahawks win, you know what? Pressure's off us. Let's go have fun, trick plays, go for it, nothing to lose, and stop the Packers from getting in the playoffs on their home field would be just, are you kidding me? That would be awesome. So let me know your thoughts in the comments about Jamal Williams. I have a feeling everyone likes him, but I also don't know that 
either. So let me know your thoughts if you like Jamal Williams and hope that he returns next year. We'll see you on the next one.